want you to notice that if you take the red bar, the first one at the top, all my air filters are grouped together. My wick shows up first, my Hastings shows up second, my AC Delco shows up third, my Fram shows up fourth. We talked about this yesterday, about being able to set up uh, cataloging so it displays the brands you want to push, the brands that are most profitable to you, the brands that have the best quality for you. Anything like that can be put in here. And for example, I sell Wix. That's my premium line. That's the one I want to carry. So it comes to the top, even though alphabetically it should have been the fifth line, the fourth and fifth lines down. The reason that I have air filters grouped together, then my cab and then my engine capacities and so forth down to oil filter is because I used a little feature that's used in LaserCat that's right over here that is called order. It's right above the red line and it says order manufacturer order description up there in the gray bars. I'm set up as description as a default. Traditional Unix catalog always sorts by the manufacturer. I can easily change my settings to do manufacture. Now all my Wix filters comes up first, then my Hastings filters, then my AC Delco, then my Fram. My Ignite the catalog is still working. I'm still displaying everything in the order I want to sell it in. But now I would be able to sell the Wix oil filters all first, then the Hastings, or all the Wix filters, then the Hastings filters, then my AC Delco and my Frams. Also, you get to pick the supplier you want to use as your default. So why might I have multiple suppliers? Think of the supplier as in CT line. You had primary, you had uh, a customer one maybe that was pre-built. You can have with Eagle and customers in, at the counter, you could have one set up for your primary, the one you use all the time. You could have one set up that is CarQuest, and it only looks up CarQuest part numbers because maybe you're out of stock. So you want to look it up in that particular parts store's uh, items. Well, if I click on one of my other suppliers, it automatically changes my lookup and says, OK, here's what that other supplier has in stock. And it, again, it looks at my inventory and hides the NIF. I am not hiding his NIFs. I'm hiding my NIFs. What does he offer? He offers Parts Master. He offers Felpro. He offers Man Filters. Now, there's an item I do not have in stock, do not have prices on, but my, comp my supplier has them. And I can open it up, and I can do a right click on the part number and manufacturer's prices. And on the lines, we have manufacturer's prices. They will appear. And you can then price an item and make sure that you can get it from your vendor, tell your customer how much, and get off that phone a lot quicker. OK, so that is um, one of the reasons we have multiple suppliers. Another reason we have multiple suppliers I might have a multiple supplier that is set up for a particular customer. I have a customer that when he calls in, I only want him to see specific lines that he's getting pricing on. So by having another supplier ID, I can control the order of the brands he sees. In Prism and in Eagle, we can set up so that when one of your shops comes in over a shop service program like Mitchell's and things like that, you can control what product lines and what order they see them in. While I'm here, I'll mention, too, that there is a specifications box right next to conditions. Here's all the specs that a person needs to do with this make, modeling year. Everything, including, everything I've turned on tire and wheel information, uh, torque information, automatic transmission fluid, engine fluid, brake hydraulic information, everything that I selected to turn on. And you have the option to turn on whatever you want of those. So that's a specification button. 